So there are about 40 essential nutrients that the human body needs to function optimally. That is a whole lot to keep track of. And if you don't meet your needs, bad things may happen. So let's talk about the top 10 signs that may indicate you have a nutrient deficiency. And should you take a multivitamin? Let's talk about that. Hey everyone, welcome back to Inc. Nutrition, where we are all about mind, body, and food. My name is Jack, registered dietitian, and I'm here to help translate the science of nutrition to help you live a happier and healthier life. So I personally think that eating is truly one of life's greatest pleasures. And while I often live to eat, the reality is, you know, we also need to eat to live. And ideally, a nutrient-dense diet full of balance and variety in order to thrive. And that is because you simply cannot meet all of your nutrient needs, all these vitamins and minerals from having the same foods over and over. So I think probably too many of us focus on quantity. How many calories? How many grams of sugar and grams of protein? And if we just kind of shift that narrative a little bit and focus a little bit more on just including fresh, whole, minimally processed foods, and have more emphasis on the quality of our food, you're probably gonna meet a lot of your health goals that way. And real quick, before we dive into the specific signs of a nutrient deficiency, let's talk about what can lead to a nutrient deficiency or low status of a certain nutrient. Okay, so number one would be, of course, intake, right? By avoiding certain foods, you may not be getting all your nutrients, and this becomes extra relevant for vegans and vegetarians. And then there's absorption issues. So if you have problems with your gut or if you've had a recent surgery, or if you're taking medications, if you have certain stressors, that could affect your nutrient status. And then genetics, all right? Some people have these polymorphisms, kind of like mutations, which are much more common than you may think. And that can prevent a nutrient from turning into its active form in the body. And then there are lifestyle factors. So for example, excessive smoking and alcohol can actually deplete certain vitamins. So if you needed another reason to limit your drinking and smoking, there you go. All right, let's get into it. Here are the top 10 signs that may indicate you have a nutrient deficiency. Number one, skin problems. So dermatitis, right, or inflammation of the skin can show up as red, itchy, scaly patches on the skin. Sometimes they're swelling. And this is associated with niacin, vitamin B6, zinc, and omega-3 deficiencies. Number two, swollen cracked lips, also known as chelosis. Okay, these cracks can be on the lips or the corners of the mouth and can be painful and sometimes bleed. So riboflavin, iron, zinc, and vitamin B12 deficiencies can lead to this. Number three, bleeding gums or gingivitis can be a symptom of vitamin C deficiency. You know, vitamin C is an important vitamin for collagen production, so that's probably why. So go eat a bell pepper. Number four, we're staying in the mouth here. Sore, swollen tongue, also known as glossitis. Your tongue can be inflamed and appear red and smooth, not the good kind of smooth. And this can happen with biotin, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, iron, and folate deficiencies. Number five, muscle spasm. So a condition called tetany, which leads to these little spasms and, or cramps or muscle twitches, like in the arm or in the eye. This can happen if you don't get enough calcium, potassium, sodium, magnesium, or vitamin D. Number six, heading to the eyes, night blindness. Yes, this is a thing. Poor vision at night or even in dark rooms is directly associated with vitamin A deficiency. So enjoy those sweet potatoes and carrots if you want healthy eyeballs. Number seven, fatigue. So I know feeling lethargic, right, can result from a million different things, but there is no denying that if you only eat highly processed foods which are stripped of nutrients, you will lose energy. Specifically, fatigue is associated with low levels of folate, vitamin C, iron, pantothenic acid, vitamin D, zinc, chloride, and magnesium. Number eight, cavities. So your risk for experiencing dental caries increases when you don't get enough calcium, fluoride, vitamin D, and phosphorus. All nutrients vital for bone health. 
Number nine, now going to the brain here, mental confusion. So memory loss, cognitive problems, general confusion, and a condition called ataxia or lack of coordination can happen when you are deficient in thiamine, vitamin B12, niacin, magnesium, and vitamin E. And number 10, feeling sad. So again, there are many, many reasons that can lead to you know just feeling down, but we do know that low levels of specific nutrients like vitamin D, folate, vitamin B6, other B vitamins, vitamin A, selenium, and omega-3 fatty acids are correlated with depression. Okay, let's throw in a bonus sign here, loss of taste. This is a condition called hypogusia, and you can literally lose the ability to taste all the delicious food in this world if you have a zinc deficiency. And honestly, that one would probably hurt me the most because my well-being depends on tasting food. So if you want problems with your skin, mouth, muscles, bones, eyes, cognition, please stay away from fruits and vegetables. On the other hand, if you want to feel amazing, if you, mentally and physically, if you want to have a lot of energy, all right, you need to eat good food. What is good food? Well, on a regular basis, ideally, you should be having non-starchy vegetables, allium vegetables, leafy greens, cruciferous vegetables, high fiber fruits, beans and lentils, whole grains, meat, seafood, dairy, eggs, fermented foods, nuts and seeds, oils, herbs and spices. So if you're getting a little bit of these on a weekly basis, you're probably meeting all your nutrient needs. So good job. Your mind and your body will be thanking you. But that begs the question, if you're not getting a variety of these foods, should you supplement with the multivitamin or a specific vitamin or mineral? Maybe, right? It depends. If you had some blood work and a physician told you that you are deficient in something, then yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you just want to have a multivitamin as like a safety net, sure, it can only help you, right? It's not going to hurt you unless you take a whole lot, right? And then you can actually get uh, a toxic amount of a certain vitamin in the body, which can't really be achieved by getting it from food. You can only reach that toxicity from a supplement. And keep in mind, not all supplements, of course, are created equal. You gotta look for these high quality ingredients. There's some synthetic forms of vitamins and minerals that are not very bioavailable for the body. So if you want some specific recommendations, definitely reach out. We can talk about that. But remember, food first, supplements second. And just as a disclaimer, right, if you have any of these signs that I mentioned, I'm not saying that you are for sure deficient in something. You should always have your nutrient status clinically assessed to confirm a deficiency. I just want you to be informed. And that is what the dietitian ordered. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in every single week. If you want me to talk about anything else in the world of nutrition, drop it in the comment below. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a delicious day. Eat your leafy greens. I'm starting to wonder if I'm deficient in one of these. There are over 40 essential... So these are, you know... Ah! Oh, <laughs> oh,